Thank you for joining us for this special All Israel Gems video. You're probably wondering why my trousers are folded all the way up and drenched in water. That's because today we're in the city of David, where an extraordinary feat of ancient engineering continues to captivate visitors from around the world. I'm Orion Moran, and we're about to explore Hezekiah's Tunnel, a remarkable water system that has survived for over 2,700 years. Picture this, it's the 8th century BC, and Jerusalem is preparing for an impending siege by the Assyrian army. King Hezekiah faces a crucial challenge, securing the city's water supply while keeping it out of the enemy's hands. His solution? An engineering marvel that would stand the test of time. We have to bring the water safely inside the city, or we won't withstand the siege. We split up into two groups and dig the tunnel from opposite sides. This isn't going to work. Standing here today feels like walking through biblical history. The feat is so significant that it's mentioned multiple times in scripture. 2 Kings 2020 records, as for the other events of Hezekiah's reign, all his achievements and how he made the pool and the tunnel by which he brought water into the city. While 2 Chronicles 32.30 tells us, it was Hezekiah who blocked the upper outlet of the Gihon Spring and channeled the water down to the west side of the city of David. 2 Chronicles 32, 2-4 provides even more context, explaining that when Hezekiah saw that Sennacherib had come and that he intended to wage war against Jerusalem, he consulted with his officials and military staff about blocking off the water from the springs outside the city. Why should the kings of Assyria come and find plenty of water? This wasn't just an engineering project. It was an act of faith and strategic brilliance that the Bible deemed worthy of recording for posterity. But what makes this tunnel truly extraordinary is how it was built. Two teams of workers started from opposite ends, carving through solid bedrock with nothing but ancient tools and determination. Through some remarkable feat of engineering, perhaps using sound signals from above, these teams managed to meet in the middle. The famous Siloam inscription discovered here captures their joy it says, and when the tunnel was driven through, the quarry men hooed the rock, each man towards his fellow, and the water flowed from the spring towards the reservoir for 1,200 cubits. You can see just how much they invested in this tunnel. Uh, there are certain places in which the, the roof of it is higher and taller, and some where it is more low and more narrow. The tunnel stretches for 533 meters, with an elevation difference of just 30 centimeters between its ends. This subtle gradient, engineering with astonishing precision, ensured that water flows gently from the Gihon Spring to the pool of Siloam. Today, visitors can still wade through these same waters, experiencing this testament to ancient ingenuity firsthand. I would definitely recommend uh, coming here with a flashlight because ooh, this is the, the most narrow it has been so I'm going to put my head way down ooh. and I would definitely recommend now that I'm walking barefoot to come with actual water shoes because there are some places here that are not necessarily slippery but they're sort of sharp and jagged actually here I have to put my head way down Recent excavations have uncovered seals bearing names mentioned in the book of Jeremiah, Jehukal and Jedeliah, providing tangible connections to the biblical text. Each discovery adds another piece to our understanding of this remarkable period in Jerusalem's history. As we make our way through the final stretch of the tunnel, we approach the pool of Siloam right behind me, where another remarkable biblical event took place centuries later. Here, Jesus healed the blind man, as recorded in John 9, 1, 7, by sending him to wash in these very waters. This creates a beautiful connection between the Old and New Testaments, reminding us how this ancient water system witnessed both engineering genius and divine miracles. From the city of David, where ancient engineering meets biblical history, this is Orien Moran. Thank you for watching this All Israel Gems video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more stories from the Holy Land. 
Shalom from Jerusalem. <laughs>